What is going on guys? Today we're going to be working on my off-road 240. So what we're going to do today is take the fans off because I noticed that under the radiator hose there's like smoke coming out or like steam or something and it smells like something's burning. So I want to take the fans off just to make sure there's not a hole in the radiator and it's like slowly leaking out coolant that's just getting burnt as soon as it touches the radiator. And we're also going to change the oil. We're moving up from 10W40 to 20W50. Um, RBs have oiling issues and I'm just trying to get as much life as I can out of this motor before I have to do a rebuild. This is the oil that we're going to be running in the 240 now some 20w50 racing oil because we're a race car now so hopefully this gives me some extra life out of the motor i really believe that having an oil cooler on an rb is going to make your motor last longer with all the oiling issues that rbs have having extra capacity is going to help a lot i really need to get one for my r32 especially since i already had oil issues with the old motor so here's the 240 let's get to work So I have the fans out. I kind of want to clean this up just a little bit. There's some buildup of dirt everywhere, so. If you're gonna wash your fans or anything electrical, make sure you wait for it to fully dry before you hook it up to power. As long as it's fully dry, it's not gonna get messed up. But if it's still wet when you hook it back up to power, you're gonna run the risk of damaging something and hurting your wallet. So because we're going to be changing the oil weights, we're going to have to drain the entire system. That means we're gonna have to take the lines off the oil cooler and drain that entire system. And then we can drain the oil that's in the motor. We are going to be able to get all of the 10W40 out. So after maybe three or four oil changes, it's gonna be entirely 2050. But if you look right there, right under the radiator hose, you can see the coolant had been dripping there before. So as you saw, we tightened this clamp up, we actually loosened it and pushed this hose further on because it looked like on the bottom it could have gone just a little bit more. So we pushed it on all the way and then tightened the clamp down super tight. I also went ahead and tightened all the other clamps just in case. So now we're just gonna start it up and then we'll just keep an eye on this hose. Don't know how well you guys can see, but it's smoking right now. It looks like it's all coming from the bottom of this hose. It's completely dry. There is some like residue on there and there's residue on the fins all the way down. I don't see any actively wet spot. Thinking that it's the residue that's on the radiator from when it was leaking, because it was leaking at one point and I originally tightened the clamp, but we tightened it again today and we moved the hose forward more so the bottom grabs enough. But that's what I'm thinking. So the plan for that is going to be for the next couple weeks, I'm just going to run it as often as I can so it can burn off all the residue and we'll see what happens. But I don't see any holes or anything that would need to be repaired on the radiator. So I'm gonna say that's fine. I'll go a couple weeks and run it as often as I can just to see if anything changes, but I think we're gonna be okay. So that's where we're going to end this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys have any idea on what the smoke could be if it's not the residue, please leave a comment below. If you guys haven't seen the videos of my off-road 240 in the desert, definitely go check those out. That is the most fun that I've ever had in a car. But I'll see you guys next time. Peace.